This is how we'll finish the car Excel. This is for a project grade. So you should have been able to follow the directions on the handout by yourself. And if you followed those directions carefully, you should end up with something that looks like this. I have it zoomed in, but you get the idea. So the handout says you're going to buy one car that costs less than $3,000, one that costs between three and $15,000 and one that costs more than $15,000. The sky's the limit. I, want you, I do want you to find cars that you really would want to buy. So you're gonna go to the internet. You're either gonna use the Google search line up here or you can actually go to Google and type it in. There's a lot of different sites that sells used cars. You may not put any contact information in. The zip code of the school is on the bottom of your handout. Please use that if it asks you for your zip code. If you just type in used cars, choices will come up. Some of the choices may be blocked. Auto Trader is blocked. Um, so just find a site that you think looks good. Think of a car that is in that price range. So I would not write, if I'm looking for my car that costs less than $3,000, I'm gonna look for something that I know is a less expensive car. Like in this case, I'm gonna look for a Ford, and they're in alphabetical order. And then I know of Fords that Escorts are less expensive cars. I'm going to put the school zip code in and click go. When I do that, it doesn't come up with a lot of cars. There are other sites though that will have more cars. And just say, oh, I hope, wish I had a 10 year old Ford Escort with 174,000 miles on it. Um, then I would say, okay, this is what I want to buy. I would click back on my Excel car. I would type 2002 Ford Escort. And I would write the price. If I forgot what the price was, I would just leave my website open down here and click back to it. And sure enough, there it is, 1950. Go back to my car. Now when I do that, the magic's gonna happen. We put formulas in, it's gonna figure out that our down payment is $390. Now we're gonna go to the bank and borrow $1,560. That's 80, that amount is 80% of the amount of the car. We're gonna just write that there's a 5% interest. On Friday, we'll actually look up the actual interest rates. Make sure that it doesn't say 50 here. 50 is way different than five, okay? Then we're gonna guess how many years it should take to pay it back. You can just play with this. If I type in two years, it says my payment is $68. That is too low and this car is already 10 years old. It would That car may not last two more years. If I type one year, my payment is 133. I think I could actually afford a little bit higher. So I'm gonna say um, nine months is three fourths of a year. So 0.75 of a year because it, it's asking us how many years. So I'm gonna go, that's nine months. That's more like it. Now, as long as the number's reasonable, I'm fine with it. Here, you're going to put your car that costs between $3,000 and $15,000. Here, you're going to put your car that costs more than $15,000. Okay, get her done. Have fun looking.